Welcome to this video tutorial on using the registry setting for buttons in Game Launcher Creator V2. So what's the registry setting in a button? Well, you may create a game launcher where you don't know where the user has installed the game to or, or a game or an app. You might want to launch an app or a game that's already installed on the user's computer and you don't know exactly where it's installed to. Or maybe your game launcher runs outside of your game directory so again, you need to figure out where the user has installed the game to. Now, if you insert a button into your launcher, right click and go to properties and then go down to retrieve from registry for the button action. You'll get a lot of parameters here that you need to set. So, uh, for example, on my computer, I have a test game installed at C program files test game 2. Uh, and you can see that's the executable there. If I run it, it's just like a dummy version. Um, so we need to figure out where this game's installed. Now, if it's written to the registry, then you're uh, in with a chance. So what you need to do is find out the registry settings for this. So as you can see from mine here, it's under HK current user, software, Bytebox media, test game. And then the install directory is saved here. Now this is usually created on the initial install. So this can either be your game or it can be another game that's installed or an app. Maybe you want to check that there's a certain game or an application installed on the user's computer. As long as it has a registry setting that's written out where the install directory is to, then this feature will work. So back to Game Launcher Creator, you pop in the root key, which is the H key, uh, and then the um, registry key is the rest of it. So software, Bytebox Media, test game. So for the current key, you pop that in there. And then the registry string is the install directory here. So copy that over to here. And then additional file name is the actual file name of the game or application. And we know in our instance it's called mygame.exe. Again, we can copy that over here. And then you've got some additional uh, switches which you can use here. So you can disable the button if the entry isn't found. So if, if the app or the game isn't found on the user's computer, then uh, you can dis the, d the button can disable itself so the user can't click on it. Uh, you can also choose for wait for end, so the launcher, the user can't use the launcher until the app or the game has finished running. And then you can also send an additional command line uh, with arguments or switches to the application if you need to. Once you've done that, just click on apply and close it. Uh, and that's pretty much uh, ready to go. So what we do now, we build our launcher. And once we've built our launcher, uh, we can run it and click on that button and it should use the registry information that we put in to check my registry. If the information is there, then it will correspond with launching the application when I click the button. So here we go. So I run the launcher. And then I click on the button. And as you can see, it's found the registry settings on my computer underneath uh, my registry here. So it knows where the application or game is installed to. And when I click on the button, it launches the executable here. So it's absolutely perfect for if you want to launch your own uh, games that's installed to the user's computer and you don't know whereabouts they're installed to. Or maybe you want to launch a different game like Grand Theft Auto 5 or, or, or Truckers or something like that. Anything, any, any game, as long as it writes to the registry where the install directory is, uh, then in Game Launcher Creator, you can create... Uh, that using the special button object, you can uh, launch an application or a game installed on the user's computer uh, from within the registry.